What's up, my brothers and sisters? I am Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are back, and we are doing another video today on fasting. Whether or not the number one question that people ask us still to this day, even though we've obviously clearly demonstrated it with our physiques over the last 10 years, is will fasting, specifically in our case, alternate day fasting, cause muscle loss? What's your take on that? Well, the answer is absolutely no. Today, we're just going to kind of give our own experience plus the science behind it. But a lot of people, especially... If you come from the bodybuilding world or the fitness world, they get caught up in the idea that you've got to eat five to six meals every single day in order to maintain your muscle and have protein every two to three hours. Now, on training days, I would say that is beneficial. In my experience, that is something that I lean on for a diet plan. But like Jay said, we do alternate day fasting, meaning that the days that I don't train, I don't eat. And days that I train, I eat You know, four to five meals depending on my schedule. So alternate day fasting does not cause muscle loss, you are able to still build muscle. So some people say, well, maybe it doesn't cause muscle loss, but will I be able to put on muscle? Yes. Even during my bulking phases, uh, and I say bulking in quotation marks because <laughs> it's not really a bulking phase. It's just more of an anabolic phase. I still fast two to three days a week for 18 to 22 hours on those fasting days. So yes, I still put on muscle during that time. And actually, Jay, I had my bod pod done the last time I did my, you know, 30 days to shred cycle. Yep. And I lost, I went from 11.3% body fat to 7.0% body fat with absolutely zero muscle loss whatsoever. Yep. And that was me fasting four days a week. I was fasting uh, for 48, 36, and 24 hours, yep. three times per week. And I lost zero muscle during that time. Um, so I kept all the muscle that I had that I had gone through in the bulking phase to get up to 11% body fat and maintain that on the way down. So if you listen to what we teach and we're going to kind of go into that, you definitely will not uh, lose muscle and you can actually build muscle still fasting two to three days per week. Look, well said, all the science is very conclusive in this. Again, Jason Fong, Dr. Jason Fong, the obesity code, you know, he even wrote a book, which very few people are aware of is called fasting. Uh, which I used uh, as the basis of a lot of my research studies when I wrote my first book on fasting, which is you know still considered one of the top four selling books of all time on fasting. It's called the Metabolic Low Torch Diet, which is literally almost seven years ago, bro, 2017. Uh, and uh, now we've obviously modified that uh, to our latest book and course, which is 30 Days to Shreds. And this is absolutely without a doubt, and I'm not hyperbolizing when I say this, the best book on fat loss ever written. It's the deepest most esoteric, most research-based book on understanding fat loss that's ever been given to anybody. And again, it's a very long, big book. It's over there. You can pick it up and show it to you guys how bad it is. But we geeked out when we wrote this book because we figured, you know, a lot of people were going to come at us with our claims. And so, we're, you know what? We're going to make it foolproof and airtight. They can't come at us. They can't tell us anything. I mean, obviously, our physiques speak for ourselves. The physique transformations of the hundreds of men and women speak for themselves, but at the same time, we wanted to make sure that we had enough research for the science dorks so that they couldn't come at us and say you're full of shit. But back to what he was saying, the science conclusively proves that a hyper-muscular U.S. field and track athlete, okay, an Olympic caliber athlete, heavily muscled like a track star, right, like a sprinter, which are the most muscular people on the planet – went 72, I'm sorry, 70 to 73 hours without any kind of amino acid degradation. Okay. This is no food and dry uh, water fasting, right? So all they consumed was water. They didn't take electrolytes or amino acids. Or by the way, you cannot take fucking amino acids when you're fasting and not break your fast. Right? Or actually eat thing. food because there are companies now that say you can eat food while you're the fasting. fasting bar. <laughs> right? So, I mean, but the truth is, is that you're not going to lose muscle. He just conclusively proved it with his bod pod. I proved it with my dieting and fasting hardcore, you know, for 48 to 60 hour fast bursts over, over the time of my life. Uh, I've never been more muscular and leaner than I am now. You know, I'm almost 53 years old uh, and I'm six foot, probably shrinking six foot two, six foot one and three fourths now and 210 pounds. And I stay that way pretty much year round. Maybe in the winter, you know, I'll go up to like 215 to 216 when I'm eating and not worried about fasting. But when I'm, when I'm pretty shredded, I'm somewhere between 208 and 210 pounds, right? And this physique has been built, bro, over the last 10 years from fasting. Yeah, I use therapeutic testosterone and surgically precise doses of growth hormone and a lot of other things. But my health is good. My biomarkers are amazing. My biological age is super low. It's in the 20s. 
So it's like, I'm doing things right, but I'm not losing muscle. So if you think that you're going to lose muscle by not eating for 18 to 20 to 24 to 36 to even 48 or 60 hours, you're full of shit. It's not going to happen. Now, that's not to say that you're not brainwashed, you know, and you've been reading bodybuilding magazines or books and you think you have to eat every three to four hours. And look, we love that, right? Like if yeah. you want to do that on your on your day that you train, that's fine. And that's why our programs are built around fasting every other day. Again, alternate day fasting. That's the whole basis of the bullet torch diet. That's the basis of 30 days to shreds. It's even the basis of the original advanced version of the bullet torch, which is called guaranteed shredded. That's fine. Be my guest. Eat to your heart's content on the days that you train, which is the every other day alternate fasting lifestyle that we create. But you don't have to eat all the time to think that you're going to be losing muscle. And obviously for the health purposes, the anti-aging effects of fasting, I mean, nothing is better for living longer and stronger than having two days a week that you fast. Again, for the purposes of autophagy, the purposes of hormesis, which are cellular fumigations, they're getting rid of senescent cells, they're getting rid of oxidative waste, they're getting rid of all these harmful byproducts and contaminants from living in this toxic soup environment that we live in every day in the United States. That if you just fast tw twice a week, as I always say, for 18 to 20, or hopefully 20 to 22 hours, you will live longer and stronger than anybody else in comparison. And again, that's the thing. It's like when you're eating all the time as a quote unquote living a bodybuilding lifestyle, you're constantly putting a bunch of byproducts and contaminants and oxidative waste and all these other things. Again, just from living and eating and breathing and digesting the food and all of this stuff. So that's why fasting by adding in a component of fasting to your lifestyle, if you're already a bodybuilder and you're eating that, you know, four to six meals a day type lifestyle, it's going to be that much more conducive and beneficial uh, to your long-term health. Yeah. And with that, I always tell people if they're trying to put on muscle, it's not the food that you can eat. It's the food that you can digest. Exactly. In the last, you know, almost decade now that I've been fasting the way that Jay teaches, my digestion is on point, I would say 95 to 99% of the time. When I eat, I'm better able to digest the food. And I would argue that alternate day fasting enhances your digestion so much that you're better able to absorb nutrients when you are eating because of the autophagy that happens in your gut. You clean up your gut microbiome. So when then you do eat, you're actually able to digest the food, absorb the nutrients from that, and then use that food to synthesize new muscle. So one of the biggest benefits of fasting is the enhancement in digestion, which is going to help you create more muscle. Now these guys that are eating five or six hours or five or six meals a day, you know, not fasting, not doing like an 18 to 24 hour fast, at least one to two times per week, they're taxing the digestion system so much yeah. because it's constantly having to digest food, having to digest food, having to digest food. Eventually you're going to burn out your pancreas. You're probably there's a lot create, of inflammation. For yeah. You're going to like, times a day, bro. yeah, you're going to create insulin resistance and all these things. So one of the biggest things to putting on muscle is staying insulin sensitive. And how do we increase insulin sensitivity? Periodically fasting. So your body is better able to use carbohydrates to build muscle. Actually, when you fast, instead of just constantly like overloading yourself with carbohydrates, you know, for 14 hours a day for every day of the week. Yeah, no, I mean, 100%. I mean, that's the thing is like, you know, we don't realize like the more often we eat, whether it's 1000 calories a meal or 500 calories a meal, your body is constantly having to digest amino acids, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, specific minerals, uh, and cofactors. And that over time builds up metabolic waste. And that metabolic waste causes inflammation. It causes cellular degradation. There's a lot of issues for people that eat, you know, often. And, and obviously we're not even talking about the average human dumpster fire, right? The average human yeah, dumpster yeah. fire is eating whatever they see when they emotionally feel like they have to eat, which is not related to actually their hunger pangs or actual their, their, their metabolic uh, caloric requirements as a human living being. So most people are over-consuming from food, they're over-consuming calories, they're over-consuming everything, and they're obviously taking in all sorts of nasty stuff that's causing all sorts of damage to their microbiome. Look, the genesis of all uh, injury and disease is in the microbiome. If you have an inflamed gut, a dysregulated or dysbiotic microbiome, you're going to be sick. And you're not only going to be unhealthy and sick, you're ultimately going to be in some form down the road getting diseases of aging, which is like cancer, heart disease, type 3 diabetes, obviously normal diabetes, but type 3 diabetes is dementia, Alzheimer's, neurodegenerative disease. So bottom line is, is fasting, you're not going to lose muscle when you fast and you do it correctly. 
Alternate day fasting is what Hunter and I support because we feel like it's the most amazing program in the world for, again, increasing all-cause health, uh, living longer, living stronger, and at the same time, getting to the leanest, healthiest condition you have. One thing we didn't say, which I'll add, is the number one way to live strongest, I'm sorry, live longest is to be lean. That is the number one thing you can do. The lower your body fat, statistically, the lower you will, longer you will live. And again, it's simple, right? Like if you don't have body fat, you don't have inflammation. You solve 90% of the problem. Yeah, you don't have happen. inflammation. I mean, yeah. people that are heavily inflamed have high levels of visceral body fat. And we know that visceral body fat is more inflammatory than kerosene. Yeah. So think about that. The human body, source, God, creation force creates these physically, you know, avatar bodies that we're inhabiting in the third density, which is made up and imagined anyway. But that's why we have these physical bodies in third density to evolve and grow our soul, to ambulate through third density in these physical bodies, right? But it's like, think about how genius that is, that if you don't take care of your physical body and your physical vessel as you're ambulating through third density, you accumulate something that's more inflammatory than kerosene. Yeah. So it's like if you have kerosene around your internal organs, which you know you need to live, right, to breathe, to pump blood through your system, to digest waste, to rid yourself of uh, urine and contaminants and stuff like that, then how the fuck do you think you're going to live a long life if you've got all this inflammatory substance, again, visceral body fat, around all of those internal organs? You're not going to live a long life. So, I mean, it's really, really, really simple. Fast two days a week. Learn to fast into 18 to 22 hour uh, uh, intervals so that you can tap into catecholamines, which is comes at the end of that last three to four hours so that you can always target stubborn body fat, you know, the most resistant fat stores. And of course do what we like, which is, you know, train and eat on the other days that you're not fasting. Yeah. And maybe as a little teaser, we get asked all the time, how do I, Jay, how do I put on lean muscle without gaining fat? Now I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you're just going to put on 10 pounds of muscle without having to accrue any body fat. I, say that's you know unless something changes like thermogenically impossible because you have to be in a caloric uh, surplus in order to put on muscle but if there was ever a way to maintain your leanness while putting on muscle it would be to do alternate day fasting because you're basically going into a caloric surplus on training days and then 100%. a deficit on fasting days so your body can actually build muscle on the training days with the extra food and then the fasting days you could you switch to you know yeah. ketones so it's like a maintenance source. program and, and, and by the way we we write about this in our yeah. book 30 days to shred so again you know pick up the book on amazon or buy our course and learn all of this stuff. I think in our next video, dude, you just triggered me. We'll we'll talk about lean bulking. The myth of the lean bulk. And all this nonsense. <laughs> so I'm Jay Campbell. I'm Hunter Williams. We appreciate you guys. We'll see you guys very soon. Take care.